All right, time for some Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. Not one of the finest games on the Wii U. Most certainly not one of the finer games Camelot has made. I've never played this before, so I'm not sure what to expect. All I know is it did not does not have a good reputation. It did not sell well. And Mario Tennis Aces kind of is the proper tennis game where this was apparently not complete. So guess we'll jump into the mega battles. I don't I guess this is a main thing of it. Let's do singles. Got Mario, Luigi, got Toad, Rosalina, Daisy, Peach, Bowser, Wario, Waluigi, Donkey Kong, Boo, and Yoshi. Um. Unlockables seem to be Toadette, Bowser Jr., Dry Bowser, and... Is that the fairy thing from 3D World for the Wii U? That's that's a weird character to choose as an unlockable. I've only... I only played 3D World for like an hour when it came out. That's a... that's like... That is the only mainline Mario game that I have not basically played. It just wasn't appealing to me at the time, and I just never got around to it. I have it. I just never got to it. I don't know why. Then again, as someone who bought a... I, I, I have a pretty decently sized Wii U collection. I have not played quite a decent amount of it just because I was busy with PS4. And funny enough, 3DS actually overtook even that. I was going nuts on the 3DS at the time. Let's choose the only correct choice. And I guess we can choose the competitor. Let's do random. Looks like it's Yoshi. Let's do novice since I'm not sure how this controls for this one. Hard court, clay court, or grass court. I like the grass. One set, two games. Let's do that. Your character will always be displayed in the foreground. Gamepad, the score will be displayed, yeah. Now, Mario Tennis Aces was alright. I played... five to seven hours of it, and it was good stuff. There's a difficulty spike at one point, which is when I stopped. But it's... it's good. This one I passed over because I heard bad things about it, and I wasn't willing to shell out 50 bucks for it. So I picked it up about a year to, about a year ago for ten bucks. Okay, it's controlling all right. Whoa, it's got interesting button inputs. How do I do cool moves? Yo, Yoshi. How do I get to do cool stuff like that? Literally all of the buttons do the same thing. It looks nice visually. It looks very nice. Hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah. Got him. Not doing too bad. This isn't bad so far. Forty, fifteen. Game point. 
All right, let's win this. Oh, Waluigi! He's shrunk. Oh, Yoshi, no! No, she. No, she, Yoshi, no! I don't know what I just did there. Oh, shit! Oh, Luigi, come on! We can't lose this! Oh, thank you. Alright. Come on, Yoshi! Throw the ball! Just don't throw it too hard or else Waluigi will die. Oh, yay. Give me that. Oh, he got that somehow. Not that. You know, this is the exact opposite of Mario Strikers, where those matches can last for hours. Well, up to like an hour for a single match in some cases, depending on how difficult it is. This isn't difficult, and I can do this in a few minutes. Even aces, it would take you maybe like 10 minutes or so to do a match. This is going to probably take me three minutes. I say as I lose a point. Match point. Lovely. 30, and I don't know what the development issue was with this game with Camelot, because Camelot normally puts out pretty top tier stuff in Nintendo. They're the go-to company for... Ah, Yoshi's screwing me over right now. They're the top two company Nintendo goes to for sports games. All I do know is that this game basically acts as a basis for Mario Asus. They reuse the engine and a lot of the character models and just change stuff up a bit. Which ain't too bad, it's a bit like... Well, you had a flop of a game, and it was because of the game's direction. You may as well re reuse the assets and just make a better game. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay, so that's what that is. I guess classic tennis is just a normal tennis match. And then there's Mega Ball Rally, which I assume is what I'm seeing right now. Just a giant ball that's a lot slower and harder to hit. And then there's the Amiibo. Rack up consecutive wins and face tougher opponents as you climb the ladder. Play solo or team up with your Amiibo to train them. And then there's just online. What is this? View the re Oh, that's just rewards. Holy shit. Yeah, this is super lacking. What the fuck? You get two game two primary game modes, which is just tennis with big people, then normal tennis. You get an amiibo training mode, and then you get a big ball mode. And then the the online, I guess, but that's so lackluster. That makes sense why Aces had a story mode and like a lot of other things to do. Th you would pay 50 bucks for this? Glad I paid 10 and even then I was unsure. Like, eh, I don't know what's in this game and I know it's not good. Honestly, I've spent way more money on worse things though. 
I'm looking at you, Rodea the Sky Soldier. I see you on my shelf over there mocking me, like you have for the past few years. I guess we'll try the classic tennis mode then. Standard or simple. Play tennis without jump and chance shots. This mode emphasizes the importance of a good strategy. Master your jump and... I don't... Why the fuck would you jump? Just do normal stuff. Let's go with DK. Against Mario? Sure. Still do novice. Let's do the hard court. Let's keep this as well. That's a reasonable amount of time for me to not get bored with this, because I can see if you do like eight matches of this, holy shit, it is going to get as dull as Mario Strikers. And Mario Strikers is fun because it's football mixed with soccer. It's, if you want to cross the two words, it's literal football. But this, it, that's like playing Wii Sports Tennis for 25 minutes to maybe a half hour if you do eight rounds. I have no idea how long the rounds are. Like, in terms of length for how long you're playing at the game and stuff, because, oof. This more or less is about as bare bones as Wii Sports. No, this is this is more bare bones than Wii Sports. Wii Sports at least had multiple games in it. This is just the tennis. Like the game isn't bad, it's just empty. This is fine. And he got me. Dong, you're failing. DK is literally just hitting Mario at this point. <laughs> I'm more amazed at how lackluster this game is and how nice it looks. This is a very visually appealing game. It looks great. Game server. I mean, I guess the time constraints or whatever development issues there were was just too much. Gra the, the graphics all look fine. The gameplay is fine as well. It's just there's nothing. There's the standard tennis. That's all you get. All, just tennis. Oops, all tennis. There's no story mode. There's no nothing. My next question is, I wonder if you can unlock more courses, because I have a feeling you can. If there's just the three courses, then... That's a big problem. That's a really big problem. I know you can get more characters. I don't know if you can get- if you can't get more courses. That is a really big problem. I don't dislike this though. This is fine. It's just I see a lot. I'm I'm worried. Like if I were the if I were a manager for this game or something or a developer, I'd be worried because I'm just like this is good, but it's not enough. So that's the classic tennis. This is just a one-off, by the way. 
I probably will make that pretty obvious because I, I do my headers and stuff, my thumbnails for stuff in a specific way to kind of show that. There won't be a number at the side. Uh, but in all honesty, I'm like, oh, geez, is this enough for even a one-off? This is bare bones. Let's do the mega thing then. Uh, let's be... Let's make... Let's let the Wii U decide. I guess we're Daisy. Who are we gonna be? We're fighting Rosalina. Okay. Let's go. I made Rosalina intermediate, intermediate by accident, but we'll keep it anyway. Let's do the... Seriously, if this is the... Are these the only courts? I, I gotta know later on... I'm going to check that in post. If there is, that'll be a talking point later on. But, oh man. I really hope those aren't the only three courts. Because that, that's a big, jarring thing that's important to the game's central focus. Is the courts. If you only have three, and you have a bunch of characters, and only three normal modes in the game, you're not doing so well. You, you maybe need to add maybe two more modes and like six more courses and then you'll be in the alright kind of place. You'll still get criticism for lackluster stuff but you won't be in a ditch. <laughs> Rosalina's already cheating because she flies. That is a massive ball. All right. That was it. That was it. That was the whole mode. That was the whole mode. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. What were they thinking? What were these mad lads thinking? Oh, this is horrible. Nintendo, you put 50 bucks on this? You put 50 bucks. You can still get this on Nintendo's website in 2020 for 50 bucks on their website. Most places have it clearanced out to like 35 bucks even. And it's this? Oh. I can't fucking believe it. Let's do some more classic. Let's do some more classic before I have a stroke at the incompetence I am seeing here. Okay, this one I think has the jumping. I didn't pay attention. Let's let's go again. Uh, let's choose Walu uh, Wario. Let's go back to grass. Oh, Lord. This is... I'm shocked, honestly. This is... For a game like this, this looks great. There's nothing. How long was this game in development? I gotta look that up. After everything. After this whole thing, I'm gonna look up how long was this in development. Because Aces basically is riding off the back of this. So I know how Aces was developed. I have no idea how long this was developed for, though. I like that saxophone in the music. Toad is super fast. Change court. Ooh. Come 
Come on, Wario. Oh, he got me that time. Wario's doing pretty good against Toad. There's moments like that where the AI just stands there and take it. Watch the replay. He didn't do anything. He just stood there. Match point. He should have made a dive for it. Like seriously, there again. I'm not. Co I'm not complaining too much because Toad's winning, but Wario. The Bup has won. This, like, I, I'm, I'm aiming for maybe like 30 minutes. I'm like, this 30 minute gameplay one-off might actually just like show, th this is going to show the whole game. This is just going to show the whole fucking game. Okay, let's be Bowser. No, let's be Luigi. Here we go. Against Boo. Let's make it appropriate because then the last one I'll probably have time to do would be Peach and Bowser, which would be expected. I mean, I went in- I went into this game not expecting a whole lot. I'll be frank about that. I didn't expect a whole lot. I got even less. I am amazed that there is less in this game. Luigi, you, you, you squandered it, Luigi. Luigi, what are you doing? Uh, nothing, Mario. You're missing the balls, Luigi. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Slam it. Too late, man. Come on and slam, and welcome to the jam. If anything, I find it funny how they stay large like this, between matches. Like, yeah, the power-ups wear away. It seems like they're on a timer at all times, so whenever that is. Oh, maybe they lose it when they get hit like that. I thought it was on a timer this whole time. No, it is on a timer, because I just lost it. Okay, that was unfair. Boo's giving me a decent match, I'll say that. Never mind. I guess we'll just do a full rotation and do one Mega Ball Rally with Peach and Bowser. Yeah, this is, uh, 
This is a game. This is quite the game. And it's over. The game is over. There is nothing left. I wonder if this is even like a game you could put to like a speedrun competition of any sort. I don't see how because it's just free play modes. There's nothing to really do except do what you want to do. So I'm not really sure if there is anything. I know I'm not trying the online because I with this with this profile I'm using, there's no Nintendo Network ID attached to it, so I can't even get online with this with this profile. The amiibo mode, see I never care for the amiibo modes in games. The only one I kinda liked was the Breath of the Wild one where you just get free shit, but you just get free shit with it. The Smash Brothers one was fine for maybe two months. It was kind of interesting when it first came out. And then there's all the games I haven't tried that do use it, like Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival, which I'll get to eventually. That is on the list. I don't know when I'll get to it, but it will be eventually. Maybe this year, maybe next year, maybe the year after. I've got a long list. I would be sure, though, that if I did do it, it would be a one-off like this. I'll do one more classic match. Completely random. Mario? Versus Waluigi. Let's say fuck it. Let's do expert. How tough is the AI at max setting? I don't even care if I win this one. I just want to see how tough it gets. Ooh, he slammed me there. Oh, he got me. I was trying there, but he actually got past me. Well, more like Mario can't move fast enough. Come on, man. Let's get this good. Ooh, it's a curveball. He's actually going to win. Come on, man. Mario, you gotta move faster. Change card. Whoa! So something I'm noticing that I don't know why is happening but he's getting a lot more of those symbols to do stuff than I am. 
No, I'm not calling bullshit. I I'm legitimately just wondering... Well, f nice. I'm just wondering, why... Authentically, why does he... Get more of those than I do? Like, look. He's getting them. I'm getting nothing still. And he's slamming me with them. I don't know. Whatever, man. Waluigi wins again. Alright. So that was Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. Completed play five matches of any type. You've unlocked carpet court. Oh, so you can unlock more courts. Thank you. I was beginning to think that there is nothing to do in this game. <laughs> I'll take a look at it, but I don't plan on playing on it. Uh, let's see. Let's go with Yosh. Carpet court. Wait, no, 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 no. How oh, lovely, it's pink. Sure, I'll do one more. That's the thing, the game isn't bad. It plays fine. It's just not... It, it, this would have been probably better as, like... A budget title, maybe 20 bucks. I can already tell you Rosalina's OP because because of her floating thing. That almost was really bad. That was bad. Come on, Joshy. Joshy. You shall not get to the Yoshi cookies today. No lunch for you. I am talking gibberish because I am bored. There is not much going on. This is fine. This isn't fun. This is functional. The game is functional. That's the way I'll put it. It is a tennis game. It plays tennis. It does it fine. That mega ability thing is nothing special. It should not have been a selling point. Game set and match receiver. Okay, and that is Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. If you expect nothing, and think that you're going to get even less, then that is this game. Oh boy, I'm really glad I didn't pay 50 bucks like I thought I was going to do when it came out. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> it's a, Okay, I'll put out a final statement. So, it's fine. It's not bad. It's really empty, though. It is just really empty. There's so much that could have been done with this. The game looks nice. It plays fine. It plays like a Mario Tennis game. There's just nothing in it that makes it compelling in any way. I would rather play Mario Aces over this. This is... Uh, mm. This is just... It, it, fe it feels like... Uh, if you get go to a fast food place and you order like a cheeseburger with lettuce, tomatoes, onions, anything anything like any of the little little tiny bits that make your sandwich nice. Say a Subway sandwich or anything. Uh, I almost said Papa John's as pizza. <laughs> uh, a Quiznos <laughs> if you still got one of those somewhere. If you get order a sandwich and all you get is the bread. This is the bread. 
there's nothing in here. It's just the bread. So that's Mario Tennis Aces. Uh, Aces. Ugh. Ultra Smash, not Aces. The bread of a tennis game. So thanks for watching. Thanks for coming out. And next time I'll probably play something a lot better than this. <laughs> and then have a good night. See you next time.